I don't usually do these, but here is a delivery day, just got it 21 minutes ago, review of the Emotiva Control Freak, the uh, uh, unbalanced RCA version. And I don't want to have to sit around and then have to hook it up and hook it, so I'm just going to do this because I'm excited. I like being excited. So it came in this shitty box from Shitty Pot Town. Here it is. And what this is, is an umbilical, four connectors, and a really nice metal knob. Big heavy son of a bitch with a rubber bottom. And this is just a volume control that you could add between a source and... A... So here, here's, what it, here's what it does. You ready? Here's what it does. These are females, and these are labeled right output, left output. Okay? And these are males, and these are labeled right input, left input. And they got really crushed up in the box, which sort of sucks. But all the ends are like metal, heavy metal. And this is really rough. This is like diamond crusted uh, uh, wire loom. And this is obviously very cold because it's a lot, a big heavy chunk. Knob feel man would just literally throw this on his seat and sit on it. That's how nice this feels. And the point of it is, you plug this into an output, like for example, the outputs in the back of this ODAC combo. They're not color coded, which sort of sucks. So you have to actually read the label left. So left input, there's left, there's right. And now you pretend that these are those, only now you've got a volume control line. Now they sell cheap versions of something like this. I'll link the Amazon. I bought this on Amazon because Emotiva decided to not be stupid and start selling things on Amazon, which uh, helps. And the cheap ones are like anywhere from eight to twelve dollars, and it's just a knob in a box, and you have little RCA things, and they're like one gauge wire. So this is the high end, awesome one. I mean, this, ladies and gentlemen, this is what you want. Oh my God! So it also came with this, which is so fifty bucks. I think. I think the, uh, the balance one is, is more or the same price. Again, just metal everywhere. And this is color coded. Why couldn't they color code this? And this will adapt. So if you your input is three and a half millimeter, like your back of your computer, or your DAC has a three and a half millimeter, like the, the, you're using the micro origin for this. Oh, the micro origin is, this is a preamp. We're adding a preamp stage. So, the ODAC, the volume control here on the front of this O2 ODAC combo controls the headphone output and only the headphone output. It's the same way on the SMSL SD793, which is one of my most recommended DACs. And the RCAs in the back of the SMSL SD793 are full all the time. And you have to lower the volume with Windows, which I don't recommend because Windows likes to forget where you put the volume. And every once in a while, you should have full volume. So... That's where this comes in. So I've got this hooked up. Nan on there is staring at me and she's gonna stand behind my FUBAR. My FUBAR is gonna play Juno Reactor or Junkie XL. And right now, the headphone amp is completely off. The headphones aren't playing. Here, put the headphones on. Now the headphones are playing. But the DAC is outputting full tilt. And if, if I hook it up to these Emotiva Air Motive speakers, which I'm about to do, they'd be playing at full tilt. I'd have to lower windows. So, and now excuse the absolute fuck all mess that this is about to make with wiring. Because you would obviously do this behind all your stuff. And I'm just doing it in front of all my stuff. And don't ask me where I got these RCA cables, because I got them from a place called Liberty Cable. And they were, like, the final ones they were selling. I bought the lot. Literally the lot. I, I spent like $78, and I got like 200 wires. So let's go. Turn my knob down. Uh, review for these is coming. I'll show you exactly what we're dealing with. Now this really only helps, this could help in two situations. When you've got powered monitors or You're using a headphone, this will work on a headphone amp also. 
uh, if you want to just remote the volume like out here. Wow, that's now it's basically a potentiometer in here, but it's a really high end potentiometer, so there's no scratchy sounds, there's no volume uh, de degradation. What the hell's it called when they're not e channel? There's no channel leveling issues. Whoop. Yeah, don't do that while that's on. That's bad. I'm just trying to level it. I'm trying to literally level the wires flat. And so it's doing its job right now with these very pretty loops where full output's coming from this. And this could be any DAC. This could be the Sanskrit. It could be the Mahdi. It could be the standalone ODAC. It could be any number of DACs. Or it could just be your sound card. And you would, if it was your sound card, you'd use the little adapter, which, by the way, this is fucking this is the best built one of these I've ever seen. I don't even know what I'm going to use it on. But uh, you hook it up, and now it just gives you permission to change the volume on that output remotely. Like uh, I'm building my race sim cockpit, right? My race cockpit's coming. It's going to over here. And I'm going to be using my JBL Studio 530s on the left and right of my 4K monitor. Probably powered by a Behringer A500 because I have all that stuff. But the Behringer A500 right there, see that thing right there? Those knobs are not volume. Those are to set input gains. You're supposed to set those and never touch them again. And you could use a control freak like this, which is originally why I was gonna buy it, to control the volume of that. So I could just wire this up, my source, output to that amp, and right here on my desk, because it's long enough to reach, I can control the input volume going to that. And that's what's gonna happen in my SIM cockpit. This is gonna be mounted on my dashboard of my fake car. And I'm just gonna be like, I need to hear my car more. <laughs> that review's coming soon. But uh, yeah, yeah, this is fucking beautiful. I almost wish this wasn't as sharp. Like if it was cloth, like these are cloth and I like cloth. This is like, I feel if I, I took the, both ends of this, went around a tree, I could just do this and sort of cut the tree down eventually. Only negative. It's nice and heavy. There's, I, there's just a hint of a channel imbalance, the very, very start. Yeah, that's playing more than that right now. And now it's even. And that exists on pretty much everything except for a digital volume control like the Audio Engine D1 has where it's a rotary encoder in there. But this is a very simple unit, just really well made. And this is how it works. I just explained it. You get four leads, two ins, two outs, and it just sits in the middle of those and squashes the volume for you. Yeah, this is awesome. Okay, so now to, uh, I'll just leave, leave it hooked up and hide all these wires, like a professional would. Actually, I would have to leave, because this is a short run, I'd have to use little extensions on that if I really wanted to get it further away from the source. Let's do that. This is not how to do it, boys and girls. Not poison girls, boys and girls. Oh yeah. So if I was like shove this like here and like that. I'm just trying to show off how clean it could look if you didn't care you were hiding all the wires. Oh yeah, look at that. And of course I shut the monitor off because it's touch buttons and fuck touch buttons. Oh, look at the, look at the cheap one. Look at the $12 one and go, yeah, I could live with that. You could live with the $12 one and it would be similar, but it wouldn't be machined aluminum with this long extension. So this is much better. And they sell obviously a balanced one with XLRs, which for 
the Behringer amp would work, but I'd have to have a source that's also XLR or use adapters. So I'd either have to use my Emotiva and then I could have just done that. But the Emotiva is a preamp, so it has volume control on it already. So. Mr. Knobfield will be making these sounds. Oh. 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 So, day one review. Beautiful. This is worth $50 right here, right here. This, I'll tell you what, this would be $15 if it was just sold. And I don't think they sell just this. Heavy metal. Heavy metal.